Good morning. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoy this episode and that you'll stay and smash that subscribe button and like this video and stay with me for the journey. I have a lot on my mind. I have it's been a long time since I've podcasted, over a month, and there's been a lot of things going on in the background, especially if you missed my announcement video, I would go ahead and check that out and join our coven of crafters. If you don't know what that is, that video will explain it all to you, and I've also posted on Instagram, and I'd love for you to join the community and be a part of this whole beautiful world that we've created. I am Vanessa, I should have said that, <laughs> Nitty Witch on Instagram and Ravelry. You can find me on Etsy as Nitty Witch Shop. Nittywitch.com is currently disabled because I am working on a brand new website. So when that gets launched, you guys will be the first to hear about it and I'll probably post it on Instagram when that goes live and it'll be nittywitch.com, but for right now, it's under construction. You can email me at nittywitchshop at gmail.com, or you can message me on Instagram, and there's also an email button on Instagram if you need to find the email that way. So I have a couple finished objects. I have some works in progress and a few acquisitions. So you're here for all the fibery arts fun stuff, so let's get into doing that. So for my first finished object. I have a pair of socks. Let's try it this way. I have a pair of socks. So these socks, I actually did finish them in time for summer sock camp, but I did not post them. Um, I just got tired. It was like, literally I finished it <clears throat> Excuse me, literally I finished at like 11 o'clock or midnight on that day. So <laughs> it wasn't, I didn't post it. But these are from, I received the Rainbows and Sprinkles Advent Sock last year that I shared with you all. And this was the extra skein, the bonus skein that came with that kit. I don't remember what it was called. It didn't have a ball band, but this reminds me of like strawberries and cream or strawberry shortcake. So that is these. My socks are done in, they are a 60 stitch sock. They're vanilla. They are toe up with an afterthought heel. So those are my first pair of finished socks. And then my second FO is also a pair of socks. Now these, I am, as you can see, like why, well, if it would focus. So I'm trying this, there we go. I'm trying this new mode on my camera. It's called cinematic mode. So I switched over to an iPhone 13. And let me tell you, the iPhone 13, I had a 12 Pro, and this is a 13 Pro. The difference is insane how much better the camera is, even though it doesn't seem like that on specs. So if you're a podcaster and you are, or you're looking to be a podcaster and start your journey, your phone will work. Anyways, sidetracked. These beautiful socks are from Pineapple Yarn and the colorway is called Graffiti is Art. I had so much fun knitting these because of the colors. Usually I stick to self-striping socks when I do vanilla socks because the stripes break up the monotony and make it fun. Usually with variegated socks, I get a little bored, but I did not get bored with these. I love the colors and just kept knitting them and knitting them until they were done and I enjoyed every moment. So there we go. Those are my pineapple yarn socks. I am dropping things over here like left and right. Let me fix this. This is going to be the episode where everything goes bonkers. <laughs> all right. So the whip that you've all been waiting for, I'm sure, right? With bated breath. This is my Feel Good Shawl by Andrea Mowry. It 
so that is the front. So the front has the bright pink in the background with the ice blue as the pop of color. And then the back side, this is so reversible, I love it. The back side is the dark pink with the blue in the background. So that's the back of it. But I love this. Like it is, it is so squishy. And I knit this out of Moondrake yarn. And it was a kit that was put together from Do You Knit, the yarn store in Jersey. And I loved, when I saw the color combinations in the picture that they posted, I was like, that's it. I need those colors. Um, I don't have all the color names specifically. They are on my Ravelry page. So the link to my Ravelry will be in the box below. And this is what was I going to say? <laughs> you might hear some interruptions in the background because I still do have a puppy and he is ringing the bell to go outside. And I'm like, I just took you outside. <laughs> Anyways, so this shawl was so much fun to make. Okay. I say that now that it's finished because it was a struggle to get through. Let me tell you. So this is brioche. And brioche is a reversible fabric, so it's knit twice, basically. Every row you have to knit twice. I know that sounds crazy, but if you look up a YouTube video tutorial, and Andrea Mowry has tons of them, you'll see what I'm talking about. So this was brioche, and then this was single color brioche, so no surprise there. The problem with the single color brioche <laughs> is that when you drop a stitch and you try to fix it, you can't tell which side is the float and which side is the stitch because it's all the same color, or at least I couldn't. And then we had double brioche. Did you guys know that was a thing? Because I sure as hell did not. <laughs> but I learned, and it was such a fun, here, it was such a fun technique. Like, this whole thing Okay, outside, like I said, outside of now that I'm done, I can say this. This was fun. I had so many hangups, especially when I made a mistake because I couldn't fix it. I could not, even with tutorial videos, I could not figure out how to fix it. I had to rip back every time I made a mistake. And I even used lifelines. But what would happen, what I was doing was I was putting in a lifeline every pattern repeat. So once I would complete the repeat, I would go back and I would check my work and then I would take out the lifeline and I would move it up and put it where it where I was currently at, the next pattern repeat. Well, I am not a good proofreader. I am not. I cannot, don't ask me to edit your stuff or to like read something for you to see if it's right because I'm not good at that. Like my brain does something where it knows what the right thing is supposed to be. So because of that, I just see the right thing. Like my brain just sees it as correct. So I looked and I saw no mistakes. So I pulled out my lifeline and lo and behold, there was a mistake that I couldn't live with. And now I had no lifeline. So I had to tink back brioche so many times, but that's okay because every time that you mess up and make a mistake and have to go back, you learn something. And I learned something every time. And I did it so many times that by the point where, or there was, um, I can't even see it, thank God. There was a mistake. I made a mistake. And you know what? I fixed it. Don't ask me how. I don't know how I fixed it. It took me like an hour of messing with the stitches, but I got it. So I am excited to wear this to Rhinebeck. This is not blocked. So this is not going to be the final size. It's actually going to be a little looser and it's going to be um, bigger. It's going to end up growing because this is a super wash. So it is going to be so much bigger than this. But I have a whole like chair full of knits that I need to block, including my slip extravaganza. I still have not blocked that. And the reason why is because it takes up my entire floor. 
and I have to lock the dogs out of the area so that they don't like step on it and stuff. It takes my entire yarn room floor to block Slipstravaganza. <laughs> it is just such a beautiful big shawl. So I just haven't gotten around to doing it, but I need to because Rhinebeck is coming up and I'm that is one of the shawls that I'm taking to Rhinebeck. So last year, the first day at Rhinebeck was really hot. So I was able to wear just the shawl. Ideally, when you go to Rhinebeck, you want it to be so cold that you can wear like every hand knit that you've made all year. <laughs> A hat, a scarf, a sh cowl, a shawl, a sweater, maybe a pa some pants if you knit some pants, some socks, you know, and it was just so hot. So I'm going to bring a couple of variations of things to Rhinebeck with me this year, but Slip Stravagance is going to be one of them. So that is going to be reserved for like a warm day, I'm thinking. And then this is going to be like for a cold day because this is a DK weight. Look at this. Oh, this is a DK weight and it is so soft and squishy. Like, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to say about this? I don't know, but I do know that when I block it, this like crinkling that's going on at the bottom is going to go away. So I did it guys, I finished the feel good shawl, it was brioche, it was a new to me technique and I have been knitting since 2009 um, and I have been knitting, I don't want to say simple things because they're not like simple things but I like the mindlessness of like stockinette. So a lot of the patterns that I choose are patterns that are like kind of simple construction. I haven't had the opportunity or haven't given myself the opportunity to learn many new techniques because the patterns I keep choosing, I'll learn something new from the pattern, like maybe a new stitch or, you know, maybe some small things, but not like a new technique. This shawl was a whole new technique. It was three techniques. It was brioche, single color brioche and double brioche. So I learned and now I'm not afraid of brioche anymore. Okay, so I was interrupted by my puppies who are wanting to go outside because there is, so they built a apartment complex in my backyard. Not happy about it. I live in a development and my house faces what was an empty field to the highway and they ended up building an apartment complex behind my house. The sidewalk that they built for people to walk is literally my house is he my grass. I don't have a fence. So like my grass is here and their sidewalk is like right here. Like they built it right in my backyard. So now when people walk their dogs, my little dogs whine and complain and want to go outside and play with them. And they can't. They can't. So if you hear whining in the background, they're fine. They just want to go outside and play. So let's get into works in progress. I have two active whips. I say that because I do have like my Manzala blanket that I'm working on, but I haven't worked on it since I finished section one. And so I'm not going to show that, that it has not made, I have not made any progress on that. Here is my rainbow blanket that you guys have seen over and over and over again. Oh, there's my hook. I am using a furl size G crochet hook. G I think is 4.5 millimeter or four millimeter. I'm not sure. It might be 4.5, don't quote me. I'm learning, I'm learning the metrics. So here is where I'm at. If I could, oh, here is where I'm at. So here we are. I mean, it is a lot. This is growing like really well. I am doing really good at this. So here is, here is it folded. So as you can see, it's like really, really big. <laughs> I made it really wide because I wanted to cover the bed um, this is for my daughter, Harper, my husband's daughter. 
She is eight years old and I wanted her to have a blanket that she can grow and still use. So it wasn't a baby blanket. So that is being crocheted out of Lion Brand Mandala in the gnome colorway. Gnome. Look how pretty. It is so beautiful. I love it. It just makes me so happy, like the rainbows. You guys know that. You guys know I love the rainbows. So all I want to do is work on this blanket. <laughs> It is just such a great pattern. It is mindless. And it's just like when I'm tired of knitting and tired of the complex things and I just want something to take my mind off of everything, but I still want my hands to be busy. This is the perfect project. I've said that like a thousand times, but it really, really is. So the pattern that I'm using, I did link down in my videos. It's by Attic24. And the tutorial on YouTube I'm using is by Bella Crochet. Now, both of these are UK makers. So they use UK terms. They, you'll have to know that their single crochet, their, I'm sorry, our single crochet is their double crochet. And their double crochet, our double crochet is their triple crochet. Needless to say, I think I'm going to film a tutorial on how to do this blanket in U.S. terms because I couldn't find one. I am not a really big fan of filming tutorial videos when there's like a thousand videos of people doing the same thing. Like I don't have a problem with telling you guys to check out someone else's video. So with this, I think that I might film a tutorial because... I didn't find another video. I don't have a US version to tell you to go to. I didn't I didn't see one that worked for me that I understood. So I might be doing that um, to help anyone out that might be struggling with the UK terms, but don't hold me to it because I'm busy <laughs> and I don't know when I can get that out. I take a long time to do things. I am a I just, it just takes me a little long to do things <laughs> and that's okay. So this blanket is living in a tote bag that my friend Tom got for me at a festival because it grew, like the blanket grew. But look at how cool this bag is. It is a Buddha um, chakra bag. So the front and the back are the same. And to be honest, the blanket is going to outgrow this bag too. And I'm going to have to keep it in a basket. But I do have a basket for it. I just have so much stuff in that basket that I need to clean the basket out so that I can put this in. Story of my life. My next work in progress I've been working on for a hot minute. <laughs> and that is my... Bay Heaven Cardigan by Kimberly McElinden. This is my second Bay Heaven Cardigan. So I am on the sleeves. This is living in my Black Pearl Magic Vinyl Laveau bag. Oh, this is my favorite bag. Those freaking stars, they remind me of Gem and the Holograms. And I am an 80s child. I was born in 82. Gem was my jam. And that, it just has such 80s vibes and I love that bag. And I can't wait to get like another iteration of it. She's been making different colors and different things and I'll be seeing her at Cake Blueza. I'll explain that later. And uh, hopefully I could pick up another one. But anyways, so here's my sweater, my Bay Heaven cardigan with its ends all over the place. So I am getting tangled up. All right, make sure I don't pull my needles out So I'm about to. Oh no. Okay, okay. So here we are. I am at, 
Now this rolls, I'm really hoping that when I block it, cause I, this is my second one, but I still haven't blocked the first one. I need to block the first one. I'm hoping that this roll here blocks out. But so here we are and I am on the first sleeve. I'm at the bottom here. I like my sleeves to be long. So I'm at the bottom where I'm doing, there's a pattern here and it matches the collar and I'm doing the cuff pattern and it's got another two inches and it's going to be quite long because I like my sweaters to cover like my fingertips here and then hopefully when I block it it doesn't end up like here but I'm known for that to happen to me because I do not gauge swatch so that can happen now let me just say I get gauge when I am knitting before blocking so when I block it, sometimes it grows and I know that you're supposed to swatch and block your swatches so that you can account for that. But like, I'm a spontaneous person and I just jump right in. Like I can't be bothered with blocking my swatch. <laughs> and for all you people that do do that, you guys are amazing because you guys have like the best knitwear and it fits so good. I like to fly by the seat of my pants and just see what happens. So I'm knitting this out of Into the World Saratoga Sport in the As One Does colorway. It is so pretty. Like the camera doesn't even do it justice. I'm like sitting on the yarn. Like it is just this beautiful, gorgeous rose color. That's why I'm calling it my Rose Heaven cardigan. <laughs> see what I did there and it looks like a rose garden let me take this off let me end up pulling my sleeve needles out all right so that's it for works in progress my chair is rolling around all over the place I'm all over the place this podcast anyways so that is it for works in progress. Now let's get into acquisitions. So my first acquisition is something that I saw in a kit from Dragon Horde Yarn. It was one of her sip and knit clubs. Now I wasn't able to get the kit, but when I saw this, I had to go to the website of the maker and buy it immediately. This is a Ouija board planchette needle minder. And I am so excited about this. It is from Stitch Together Studios. I thought, there we go, Stitch Together Studios. And I'm excited about this because it has the metric right there. It has metric sizes on it. So a lot of needle minders, excuse me a second, guys. Cut it out. Puppies. It has um, the metric sizes, which some usually don't have or include in theirs because it's really hard to. Like some of them get so small that it, it's difficult. I get it. Um, and sometimes they don't fit. This does not go down to the zeros. This goes down to two millimeter. So two millimeter is like a size one, zero, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe it does go down and I'm just, cause I was like size two, it's a two. No, it's not a size two, it's two millimeters. So maybe this does go down pretty far. Anyways, it also has the ruler on the side. It's got centimeters on this side super super fun I had to have one of these so this was awesome I'm so glad I was able to pick this up they are mouse fighting now biting each other all right my next acquisition is from pretty twisted yarns and this was her super secret society of self-striping sock knitters that's right I did it. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous this is. If I could, there we go. 
very Halloween-y, especially the mini skein. Like, look at the, look at the mini skein. And it comes wrapped up in this beautiful plastic wrap. I'm about to throw something at the dogs and I don't, I was like about to grab yarn and just throw it at them. I'm like, I don't even, let me not do that. Stop. Let me not do that. But anyways, this is so beautiful. Here is Teresa's logo right there. Pretty twisted yarns. She included some tea and there is her sticker and I cannot wait to knit these up. I have a couple like Halloween-y colorways and I'm like, am I going to be able to make all this, this stuff? But we'll see. We'll see how many like Halloween-y socks I can make. So this is going to be one. And then the other thing I bought, it's some cotton. <laughs> it's some Sirdar Snuggly cotton. It is a, I believe, yep, it's a DK weight. And this is going to be a Carol cardigan. You guys have seen me knit that before for my cousin's baby, who she was a twin. And unfortunately, her twin did not make it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was really sad. Um, they were both born and one um, of them lived for a little bit and just she just didn't make the journey. So the surviving sister is getting a beautiful little cardigan and maybe a matching hat out of this snuggly cotton. So the other thing I bought was some Chaiyu needles, nine inch circulars, because I have been using a size zero and a size zero nine inch circular will get you the gauge of a size one needle if you were magic looping or if you were straight knitting. Because of the way you have to hold the needles, you get a looser gauge. Well, a lot of patterns for socks are 64 stitches. And I like my socks to be 60 stitches. They just fit better. And when there is a pattern in the sock, you can't take stitches out, you know? So I am, I bought a size double zero and a triple zero to see if maybe if I went down a needle size, if that will just, I mean, it will, it's going, I'm going to go down a needle size and it's going to make the sock tighter and the gauge tighter so that I'm hoping the 64 stitches will be like 60 stitches, if that makes sense. So that's what I bought. Okay, so the next few acquisitions were gifts, and they are amazing gifts. I was gifted by Lacey of Mermaid Tangles this beautiful skein of yarn she calls Speckled to Death. Let me put that. So here is her logo, Mermaid Tangles. And there you go. Look at that. Like, isn't that just halloweeny goodness oh i cannot wait to make these like i am super excited to get these on the needles and see what this looks like when it's knit up i am like i opened the package and i was like oh my god it's so pretty because it is it's beautiful i love i just you know yarn dyeing is fun it's not for me but I am so awed by like the color combinations that people come up with. It's so artistic and so beautiful. So thank you, Lacey, so much for that. I cannot wait, cannot wait to cast that on. She also sewed me a little bag of these skeleton puppies. Now she does not make project bags. This is just something she did as a gift. So she's not selling these, but Look at how cool that is. I love it. The fabric is so cute. It's a little drawstring. Yeah, so thank you, Lacey, so much. <laughs> I keep saying that, but like that you gifted something to me out of the kindness of your heart means the world to me. Thank you so much. Now, the next few acquisitions have a story to go with them. I 
visited my friend Kate in Florida. Now, Kate is from the UK. She lives in Derby. And she was vacationing in Disney World with her family. So I flew down to meet up with her and also to meet up with my Love and Stitches members from my membership that I'm a part of that was created by Nitty Natty, who is Natalie, Nitty Natty on Instagram. And I've talked about this membership before. I really love it. It's such a great community. And Natalie is an excellent, excellent teacher and she has classes and she teaches things and she's great. I love being a part of this membership. So there's a couple girls from this membership that live in Florida and was able to meet with me and Kate in central like Orlando. So my mother lives in Lehigh Acres, Florida. I was able to fly down and stay with my mom and visit my mom and my daughter who lives down there. My daughter is 20. She lives with my mother. I asked her if she had any plans of coming back to live with me and she said no because every day in Florida is like a vacation. It's like spring break, mom. Okay. Okay, kid. <laughs> I see where your loyalties lie. <laughs> But I got to spend time with my daughter and my mother and my brother lives down there too and my nieces. So that was fun. And then I got to drive up to Orlando and see Kate. So we met up at a Panera Bread. And I met up with, it was me, Kate, Heidi, Esther, Jen, am I missing? And Mirtez. And we had such a good time knitting together and talking and I did not want to leave. I didn't want to leave. I wanted to never leave, but it was three hours from Lehigh to Orlando. So I had to obviously drive back. Otherwise, I would have spent, I would have stayed out there till like midnight. They would have had to kick me out of Panera. <laughs> so some of the gifts that were gifted to me are these beautiful... Okay. Okay. So here are the things that were gifted to me. So Kate and I decided that we were going to do an advent swap. So I created an advent calendar for her and she created an advent calendar for me. And I will have that for Christmas. But she also gave me a gift to open up right away. So one of the gifts, this is super cute. It's a little little hanger right isn't that funny because you shouldn't be just don't be just don't be one <laughs> and then she gifted me from a dyer that I have been like just swooning over and it's she's a UK dyer so it's kind of hard for us you know with shipping to get it here and that is Wooly Mama Yarns so she gifted me Day of the Unicorn by Pretty Twisted Yarns. Look at how gorgeous the skein is. Can I get a focus, please? I'll get my head out of the way. Look at how beautiful this is. I can't even with this. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to cast this on and put it. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I don't want to say socks because... It is 75.25, but I don't want to say socks because it's so pretty. I want it to be something more. So I was thinking like maybe of pairing it with like, I don't know, like a straight pink, maybe like I'm going like there's a pink, like that's obviously not the right weight, but I don't know, but I cannot wait. Like knowing me, I'll probably never knit it. It'll probably find its home in the bins and go onto my wall of art because a lot of these skeins of yarn are not things that I'm going to knit with because I know that sounds like devastating, but a lot of this yarn was yarn that I bought when I first started knitting. And when I first started knitting, all I was making was like hats and scarves, right? And that like something that we all do. So I was going to be deployed to Honduras, they decided at first. And 
So to prepare for going to Honduras, I bought a whole bunch of single skeins of yarn, like just one worsted, right? Not even sock yarn, like just like one skein of yarn. So I have so many single skeins of yarn that it's going to take like a scrappy project or some sort of project to like pull all those skeins together for me to use a lot of this yarn. Um, so this is like my wall art of yarn. My sweaters quantities and stuff of yarn are in a bin downstairs. So they're in a closed bin because they don't fit on the shelves. This is like cotton. This is just like a bunch of cotton. And these are just like random miscellaneous skeins. So like I said, we'll see. Anyways, I got off topic there. So back to Florida. She also gifted me, Kate, this adorable Halloween-y trick-or-treat bag. This project bag. I absolutely love this. Like, there's some little drawstring, and it's so october -y and you know me. I love me some Halloween. Look at it. It even matches my tattoo. Oh, they look so cute together. <laughs> she also, I'm like, and this, and this, and this. No, she also gifted me stitch markers that she made herself. And these are gorgeous. So she's making these gemstone stitch markers that they come. So this is amethyst and onyx. And it comes on this loop. Right there. So she's making those and they're so pretty. And then she gifted me these stitch markers, which are English treats. They're English pastries and English treats, and they're so cute. She told me what each one was. So each one actually has like a name and everything. I don't know them because I, I'm not over there and I don't know what they call everything, but it was just really, really cool and thoughtful. Thank you so much, Kate. I love you so much. It was so good to see you. You're the best. One of our members, Jen, gifted each one of us, so she is an artist and a painter, she gifted each one of us a little bag, says knitting buddies are the best buddies. This is just a little memento of our meetup in Florida. I hope you find a little space for the pastel painting and a scrappy project for the mini. And there is a little mini skein. Take my face out of the way. There we go, a little mini skein. And look at this. Look at how beautiful this is that she painted. Like freaking talented and gorgeous. I can't even get over it. Just so beautiful. I can't wait to put this on my table. I mean, I have in my yarn room a collection of little things that people have given to me. And so right now the yarn room has its decorations, but there's a lot of bare space and that bare space is for when people give things to me. And my room is starting to fill up with these little gifts, like someone knitted me a bird, someone knitted me a little witch, someone knitted me a little sheep. And my yarn room is starting to fill up with these things and it's just, it brings me so much joy. It really does that someone would take time I'm a selfish knitter. I don't really knit for other people. And that someone would knit something for me, I get it. Like, I understand what that took for you to do that. And for Jen to paint a picture for each one of us, Jen, thank you so much. It was so good to meet you. It was so good to meet everyone, all the girls. I... <laughs> I just wish I was closer. I wish we could do that all the time. So that, oh, wait, no, I have one more thing. I've actually been waiting to show you. I haven't even broken into these, which has taken all of my willpower because these are so cute. This was a collaboration between Black Pearl Magic and Twin Mountain Handcrafts. Look at these 
stitch markers. They're witchy. It's a crystal ball, a spell book, crystals, a Ouija board planchette, and tarot cards. Like, hello. How freaking gorgeous are these progress keepers? I cannot wait to use these. They're so cute. So I got those. I also got my row one subscription. So here is the row one for this month. Let me, I gotta remember to take my face out of the way. So there we go. So this is the row one for this month. I'm actually going to be canceling my row one subscription and it's not because I don't like it. It's because I have so many minis and I'm not working on my scrappy project right now. So every month I'm just getting minis and they're going into a bin and I am overwhelmed with minis. So I'm going to cancel this, especially at $40 a month. I, if I can save for just a few months, that'd be great. Um, it's a great price point for what you're getting. I just can't um, keep up right now. So I'm going to have to cancel that for now which is fine. That's how it goes. I keep, I feel bad because I keep like canceling and coming back and canceling and coming back, but I just, I really need the time to catch up. I can't put an entire, like there's like, there's 10 minis in here. I cannot, unless I was working on the blanket, like solely, um, I cannot get all these in, in a month. So I'm going to have to slow down on that. So that's all I have to show you today. I'm looking around, making sure. Um, now, I do want to say that the my group, the Magical Coven of Crafters, is active. Like I said, check out my announcement video. If you are looking for a nerdy place to be, if you like video game, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a frog in my throat today. If you like video games um, tarot. I mean, all the things that I like, if you like all the things that I like, and you find that you're vibing with the things that I vibe with, then join my group because it is going to be that I'm trying to create that vibe, that witchy, fun, um, nerdy, eclectic community. And we are having so so much fun so far. It's been open for a day or two and people are joining and they're communicating and they're sharing and they're having a great time. And I'm having a great time interacting with everyone. It is insane and so much fun. So I hope you consider joining the community. I think that's it, guys. I don't... I feel like kind of scattered because I feel like that was kind of quick, but it wasn't quick. Um, I did have my interruptions. What else do I want to say? It just seems like every time I turn the, I know I'm rambling, <laughs> but every time I turn the camera off, I'm like, oh, I wish I would have said something. You know what? I will say something. I will say one thing before I go. Hi guys, it's Vanessa from the future and I have had so many interruptions this guy right here is to blame for almost all of them, but we wanted to announce the giveaway winner. The giveaway winner for the thousand subscribers is my friend Heidi. I am so excited that she won. Heidi is who I just talked about that I met up with in Florida. Thank you so much for the stitch marker you gave me. I don't have it on me right now because it's on one of my projects. It was such a cute stitch marker. It was a little flip-flop and it had a palm tree on it from Florida. So it was really a good memento for me and I loved it. So that is the thousand subscriber giveaway. The giveaway for the Nitty Witch Spin Along is also someone that I know and it is Jessica. She is same old knit on Instagram and she participated in the spin along. So I'm going to send her a fun package as well. If you guys can get back to me with your information, email me your details. I'll get a package sent out to you. Thank you everyone for participating and for subscribing. And I will see you guys later. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Drink some water and have a good week. Bye. Bye.